A while ago, I got a text message that was not meant for me. Uh, and I know that because it began, Hi, Phil. <laughs> and I'm not Phil. But it said, uh, My name's Andrew. I'm one of the new tenants at 11 Dover Place, and I've been told you're the person to contact regarding upkeep, problems, etc. And uh, I was like, uh, obviously got the wrong number, so I was, I was like, I'm not actually, but I was just composing another message explaining to him the fact that he got the number wrong by a digit and I was not, in fact, his landlord. Uh, but before I had a chance to send it, he said, actually, you are. <laughs> I thought, ah, you dick. <laughs> he said, according to the leasing agreement, you're responsible for looking after 11 Dover Place from a maintenance perspective. And from my perspective, which it has to be said is, is, is not one of maintenance, there was nothing I could do. My hands were tied. I said, my mistake. How can I help? <laughs> Phil. <laughs> and we were off. <laughs> he said, I'm in the bedroom with ensuite. Can a thermostatic valve be fitted at the tower rail in the bathroom as it's making the room unbearably hot? I thought about it. I started to get myself to Phil's shoes. Do you know what I mean? And I said, no can do. <laughs> but I'm having my builder come round on Wednesday to remove one of the windows. <laughs> this should stop the bedroom overheating. <laughs> he said, uh, he said, uh, hi, Phil, I'm at work on Wednesday. Can you clarify what you meant when you said you're removing a window? <laughs> I said, I'm not removing a window. That would be ridiculous. I'm getting a professional to do it. <laughs> We should achieve a nice summer breeze to combat the tower rail heat. <laughs> he said, can you please explain what you mean about removing windows? <laughs> now, at this point, guys, if you, if you were Andrew, I think you'd probably be wondering quite correctly whether I was indeed Phil. But I didn't want to think that, because by this point, guys, I had plans. <laughs> so what I wanted was some evidence. Well, so what I did is I went to Google. Google's amazing, because the first thing I did when I popped in the address was it popped up a little uh, realtors page for 11 Dover Place. And that happened to include a floor plan. And I thought, wow. That is very useful. Because <laughs> that enabled me to send him this. I said, look, I said, the plan for Wednesday. Watch very carefully. <laughs> I, made that, I made that into an animated GIF, and I sent it to him via iMessage. What I didn't realise at the time was if you make an animated GIF and you send it to someone, it just, it just basically repeats. So this is what happened. It was just like... <laughs> He said, I fail to see how that would help. <laughs> and I, to be fair, I realised he was right, because you don't remember from physics, you know, at school, you don't, you don't, you don't need, a, you need a blue, and you also need, you need a red, you know what I mean? So, like, obviously, I had, I had like, kind of a, you know, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but then again, I, 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 I said, it was like... <laughs> I said, FYI, to take full advantage, you need to keep your bathroom door open at all times. <laughs> He said, if this is unacceptable, if you do this on Wednesday, my lawyer will be in touch. And I thought, ooh. <laughs> I said, Andrew, from Wednesday, expect the flat to be out of action for six weeks as we initiate the following four-step plan. I was having literally the greatest time of my life. <laughs> Step one, remove all four walls. Expand bathroom. <laughs> Step three, isolate towel rail with refrigeration dome. <laughs> Step four, counter out remaining towel rail heat with tower of ice. <laughs> I've just spoken to the real landlord so you can knock it off. <laughs> Did he agree to sort the tower rail? <laughs> Stop taking the roof! <laughs> I said, go on, did he? <laughs> yes. 